Hello everyone, my name is Shai and today I'm reacting to some more JJ Lin. This time it is a song called Adolescence. Now a lot of people when they recommend, or some people when they recommended this to me, they recommended that I listen to it with headphones. However, I'm not like some of those really higher up um, reactors or those fancy schmancy like um, reactors who are able to listen with headphones and like have their video recording at the same time. Um, my process is I listen to it and then I edit the video in and use the sound um, from the video that I watch um, and that's how I do my videos. So I will listen to it with uh, headphones and I will put my reaction to it on um, the comments of this video. However, <laughs> when, this, when this video is up, I'm going to be probably getting ready for my trip to a little island here in Korea called Goje. Um, me and my friends decided to go take a, um, a day trip there just to explore, um, see what's, what's there. Um, so yeah, I won't get to the comments until probably very much, probably like very late. Um, but look forward to that. I'll definitely get to it as soon as I can. I'll definitely listen to it with headphones when I can. Um, but that's just a heads up. So the reason why I'm not listening to it with headphones right now is just for my video editing process thing. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get straight into this. This is, it says it's featuring, uh, Shin and Mike. JJ Lin featuring Shin and Mike, it just says. Um, this is Adolescence. I'm very excited to see how this goes. Um, so without further ado, this is JJ Lin with Adolescence. Here we go. Oh, I can see why. I can see why you need headphones. This is made for headphones. I can really see why you need headphones. Oh 
，不能坚持才会痛，害怕打击才会痛。逆着风奔往之前，这才是我的一贯作风。God, I love it. But I can definitely see why headphones are required. Looking at the lyrics and looking how this is、um, played out, I feel like if you listen to it with headphones, like you can hear one part of the one one singer in one ear, another singer in the other ear. Like I said, I'll definitely, definitely, definitely、um, check it. I'll listen to it、um, with headphones on my own time,、um, mainly because I'm currently recording this at like 1 a.m. and I definitely need to sleep. And I would love to definitely do a reaction to it on camera, but.、Um, Due to sleeping issues, <laughs> I should probably get to bed soon. But、um, but yes, I will definitely do it.、Um, like I said,、um, I'll put my reaction to listening to it with headphones、um, in the comments below when I can. Because like I said, when this video is up, I'm going on a day trip. I will be on a day trip to、uh, island called Goje here in Korea. It's near my town. My friend、um, found out about it and she she wanted to、uh, check it out. And I'm like, screw it. We even though we came back from Busan last week, let's go on another day trip. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much、um, what's going on. But my initial reaction to this,、um, it's awesome. It's awesome. Like I, what I understand from the video is just like the two rappers are struggling artists.、Um, and one hand, we have one working in、um, in what looks like a like a restaurant area,、um, you know, struggling.、Um, he also makes. I think he's the same one that makes music in his room, and like his when his father came in, he doesn't really approve, and that actually tugged at my heartstrings. I was kind of tearing up at that.、Um, I'll tell you why in a minute. But and the other guy is like trying to, he's kind of established, I think I want to say, but and he's trying to get signed or get his stuff out there, but、um, like a lot of people, lot of like ex the executive didn't really like him because of I guess his music style or whatnot or like how he presents himself. And you know, it's just about two. I guess in the terms of, of this title, of the track, it's like two adolescents、um, going against all odds, and you know, making it. Like at the end, it looks like、um, J J Lin helped them out. You know, get their popularity and whatnot. And it's just, it's just onwards from there.、Um, so why the, the scene with the dad? I think either dad or grandpa, like not really improving. I, I would assume he's not approving of like him not making music.、Um, If you don't know, you know, like with Asian, I want to say most Asian households. I'm not going to speak for all of them, but from my experience growing up, my family in itself,、um, they want you to be. It's typ. It's like a stereotypical thing, but it's kind of true for most families.、Um, they want you to be stable, and what that means is basically anything but doing music, anything but doing, you know, like what I'm doing, teaching. Um, they want you to be like a lawyer, a doctor,、um, you know, something that brings a lot of money and can give you stability in your life. Things like you know, being a teacher, being、um, a musical actor, being a singer—those kind of things are not stable, and you know, a lot of parents、um, will disapprove of that.、Um, so in my in my case, in my family,、um, obviously growing up, there was three options that my parents wanted us to do. Navy or like military,、um, doctor, nurse, doctor, or nurse, or lawyer, or actually there's four choices. Engineer. Engineer is also a big one for、um, for my family at least.、Uh, I'm not sure about other families, but、um, that's those are the four big ones. If you couldn't get into the first three, military was the only option.、Um, and funny enough, a lot of my friends are actually in the military, and I'm not you know dragging the military. Or anything, because my father was in the military. But it was just like the option for a stable life.、Um, even my mom is telling me to,、um, you know, if I can't find <laughs> if I can't find someone with a stable job or what she deems a stable job, find navy guy because that's the most stability you'll have in your life. And I'm like,、eh. anyway, that's a that's a side note.、Uh, but yes, 
Um, so, you know, and then, so me, for me, in, in my instance, obviously I didn't want to do the military. I didn't want to be a doctor. And actually, I didn't want, I didn't want to be a lawyer, but I did study criminal justice. Um, mainly because my interest of criminal justice was not lawyer. It was more of like the forensics kind of thing. Um, at first, my parents were actually hesitant because, you know, forensics, but then when they found out, you know, it's kind of like medicine and all that, they're like, oh, you could be a pharmacist, you know, like trying to throw me back into the medical scene. And I'm like, nah, I don't want that. So I did study criminal justice, but mostly like social work or like juvenile and whatnot. Um, so my mom's now trying to push me into social work. <laughs> so, because it's more, it's more stable and there's a lot of jobs. Um, but yeah. But at first, my mom, like I said, kind of disapproved, uh, really wanted me to be a doctor, wanted me to be, um, like, something, like I said, all I can say is just stability. Um, stability and can give you good money. Um, in the case of my brother, he actually started out as an engineer, but he kind of burned out, was not liking it, and then he eventually switched to musical theater. And, oh boy, <laughs> that was... Ooh, I, I don't want to go into the history of that, but it's basically, simply put, um, my family, uh, my mom and dad obviously did not, or at least my mom didn't. My mom didn't really approve. My dad was like, it's kind of like, I guess you can say the stereotypical Asian dad. Like, he, he doesn't really show his emotions. He doesn't really, um, he doesn't really, like, say anything up front. Um, what I mean is, is like, for example, um, when I first moved here to Korea, um, almost a year ago now, um, my father came with me to help me, you know, come in, you know, pack up, you know, settle in and all that. Just help me, like, unpack everything, because I brought a lot. Um, and when he left, it was just a simple, like, oh, goodbye, you know, take care of yourself, you know, call us when you need you. But then, like, not even an hour or two, like, after he left, he sent this really long text message that I still hold on my phone today. Um encouraging me like saying that these kids will remember you for being you know like the best teacher and you know I cry because he never does anything like that so like I said my dad kind of the, the kind of stereotypical Asian dad that you know doesn't really show much emotion so every like most things everything falls on the mom um because she wants what's best for the kids obviously um so yeah my brother switched to musical theater and it was not liked at all but eventually my mom warmed up as my brother started doing performances, started seeing how much he loved it. And now my brother is in London, um, going, to, uh, starting hopefully to work there and whatnot with my mom's full support. Um, and you know, that was, that was, that's a journey. That's definitely a journey in, in, in and of itself because, you know, getting a family approval for doing something off the radar because, um, in the instance of my family, um, my brother and I, I would say my brother and I are the only two that have really, like, spread our wings outside of the States. Uh, I mean, I have a, God, what is he, a nephew? Uh, a nephew of mine, he did go to the Philippines to do basketball and whatnot, but then he didn't, he felt really homesick, and then so he came back. So me and my brother are the only two in our family, I would say. Um, except for my cousins who kind of like left home as well, but like, um, in terms of the, our cousins in the States, um, we're the one, the only two that have really, um, spread our wings and left home for something else. So like seeing that grandfather disapprove, um, kind of reminded me of like, you know, my story. Like, like I told you my story, um, maybe eventually he would turn around, um, or he'd continue to disapprove and, you know, it happens. Um, so, yeah, it's just like the adolescence. So, <laughs> going, going, going back to this um, music video, it's just like the adolescence is kind of also like the, 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 the time when you're trying to figure out yourself. And maybe you hit that, 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 um, that, I don't know what you call it, like, the, I don't know what to call it, like, climax that, that high point um and you know like at the end they had a adoring crowd JJ Lynn is like I did it I helped these guys and just left like a cool hero um 
but yeah, you know, eventually, like in your youth, you come across a lot of obstacles. Um, but eventually, you'll find what you love and continue doing what you love, no matter how, I guess, to say painful. Because I remember the busker; he he had bandages on his fingers from co constantly playing. Um, no matter how, like, if even if you have like writer's block, like that guy in his room tearing up the music because it didn't probably didn't sound good, or you know, family disapproval. That's another obstacle. Um, but eventually things will, eventually things definitely come to a heat and like definitely work out. Um, whether it's in a good way or not so good way, um, it, I don't want to say not in a good way, but it works out in, in hopefully a good way, basically. Um, and like, like I said, adolescence, if I were to think of it, like there's that period of time where you're just figuring things out. Um, so... Yeah, all in all, simply put, I can see why this needs headphones, and I'll definitely get to listening to it um, with headphones, and I'll put my um, thoughts in the comments below uh, when I can, when I get back from my trip, uh, when I get back from my day trip to Gojay, from go uh, English, um, when I get back from my trip in Gojay, um, I'll, I'll listen to it, and then uh, give my thoughts in the comments. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this long rambling, but hopefully you understood what points I was getting at and like my thoughts and ideas with this song. Absolutely love it. Brilliant song. Definitely need to listen to it, um, with headphones and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.